Hi everybody, Dr. Daniel Shanahan here again from Lakes Foot and Ankle Associates. What I'm really excited to talk with you today about is the addition of our new 3D printed orthotic system that we've just added to the office this fall. This is absolutely off the charts exciting for what we can do with our patients now with orthotic management. The thing about orthotics is there's a lot of choice out there. There's a lot of choice and there's a lot of bad stuff on the market. I can tell you that honestly, because I've laughed ever since I've seen the commercials on TV about the kiosks where they scan you for your custom orthotics that are dished out to you via a little uh, dispensary in a plastic box. Okay, that's a $5 piece of foam that you pay $55 for. That is not a custom orthotic. What we have now brought into Lakes Foot and Ankle Associates is a method of data capture for the absolute most precise orthotics you could ever have. And these are 3D printed. I'm gonna talk more about that as we go along. But the, the change towards these new orthotics, I make it equivalent to the analogy of the cell phones out there or your smartphones, okay? A lot of practitioners nowadays are still doing what I like to call a rotary dial phone orthotic. It's that antiquated, it's old, it's thick, it doesn't fit your shoes well. You know the problems I'm talking about. Other practitioners are doing orthotics. They're kind of equivalent to the eight version of the phone. I'm not gonna use brand names so I don't get in trouble, okay? But let's say you have the eight version of that phone. Okay, it's relevant, it works, but it's getting a little old by its technology. Many of you know they just came out with the 11 version of a certain phone and the 10 of another. Well, guess what? Our new 3D printed orthotics, I call them the 15. They are the future now because we have brought the future of orthotic management into our practice with these 3D printed orthotics and they're equivalent to the 15 version of your smartphone. So let me tell you about the difference of custom versus prefab. A prefab orthotic is something made just to fit your general foot size. There's nothing customizable about it. And especially when you buy the junk that you get at the retail stores or gosh forbid you buy it online. I've seen ads on Facebook, of course other internet sites. Do you really trust something like that to fit you properly? Dr. Petronella and I now have a means to do a scanning of your foot with a laser scanner and a gate plate analysis where we have you walk across a gate plate that has 4,000 sensors built into it to capture the nuances of each of your feet, how you walk, and then we can customize it for you. Customize it to a level that has been never before seen because I couldn't do this even a year ago with the traditional orthotics we were doing before. So I'm really excited to introduce this to you. I'm going to show you the scanner. I'll even give you an idea of how the technology works as we move along. But I wanted to get you uh, in the loop about the newest addition to Lakes Foot and Ankle Associates. Okay, so now I want to show you how it works because this is really neat stuff. This is the patient. We're going to position her. Let's start with her right foot into the middle of the scanner. Slide forward for me a wee bit. What I do is I get her positioned into the scanner, set up properly into the appropriate position to capture, and watch this, okay? She's in the scanner, and we're gonna do a laser scanning of her foot. This just takes a minute to do. This is a class one laser, so it's safe that we don't have goggles on during the process. And it captures the 3D image of her foot, and it will render it onto the computer screen in front of us. We'll show you that shortly. Look how quick and easy. So now we're going to switch feet. Patient's going to rotate and bring her left foot into the field. Set everything up and I get her into the position we need her in to capture the most optimal position of her foot. And we, after we set her up, we get the scan going on the other foot. Just like that. And this is just the scan for her anatomy. The gate plate analysis, which uh, provide a tremendous amount of data about how things function, we marry these two things together to create the best device ever. 
Okay, so you saw the 3D scan, the laser scan. Now we use the gate plate device. With the gate plate, we can actually do a static analysis and a balance analysis to check for some details. I'm not gonna show that in the video because that's kind of boring just watching the person stand there. But the next thing I'm gonna show you is what's called their dynamic analysis, where the patient's gonna walk across a gate plate and we're gonna capture lots of information about their gate. So we're gonna show that right now. I'm gonna set it up to start recording which it's doing right now. So we will watch the patient do what she needs to do. And you'll see how she just ambulates across, switching the feet on each stride. So we make sure that we capture both feet. We actually do this at least three times per foot. And what this will give us is a wonderful analysis of how she strikes the ground and what happens with her biomechanics. Okay, so after we capture all the data, uh, after the gate analysis, then we can show it to the patient, which I'm gonna to show to you on the screen right now uh, as to how much data we actually got. Okay, so we've captured everything for our patient today. We did the four forms of data capture with her, the 3D scanning with the laser, the dynamic gate analysis, which you just saw, and the two in between, which is the static, where there's a standing and they're balanced. They actually close their eyes during that part. So I wanna show you the data. You can see the screen here. I'm gonna use the computer manipulate. You can see these are the images of her feet uh, from the 3D laser scan, okay? And it gives us a lot of information right out the gate in regard to arch height, length of the feet, and so forth. But then as we move along, here's the the uh, dynamic analysis and here's my favorite part is the 3d I'm going to show you her pressures as she walks watch when I play this you can see how we capture what are called peak pressures of where her weight goes from her heel to the ball of her foot to her toes and in patients that present with different pathologies problems with their big toe joint problems with their Achilles uh, whatever their issue is we will pick up on the nuances on how each device can be tailored individually so it's very customizable what we can do now compared to our previous methods okay so i hope you've learned a lot from what we've covered so far so i'm going to finish with a little summary here about our new go 4d orthotics and i say go 4d because that's the name of the company that we're working with to do these amazing 3d printed orthotics and a key point too about the 3d printed orthotics they're green, a lot less waste. We don't have to use casting boxes, fiberglass, or uh, plaster, where we have to ship that. And then of course, the lab dis disposes of that in landfills. This orthotic modality is created on the 3D printers with a nylon powder that is fabricated by the computer. So they're green, they're wonderful, and there's very little waste. So that's another positive thing. So you saw how much data we can capture, how customizable these devices are for the patients and how we can tailor them for each foot very specifically. The turnaround time is only a couple weeks. The transmission of your prescription is instant because once we scan you and the doctors make the prescription, we send it right away. The company gets to work on it right away and they're here in your shoes making you feel better within a couple of weeks. So keep this in mind, our new 3D printed orthotics from the amazing company called Go4D. We're here to help you be more comfortable. We will look forward to seeing you for that.